Hi everybody and welcome back. This week I am going to be sharing uh, a tip that is absolutely awesome for creating texture in fur and it is a combination of using scotch magic tape and a Faber-Castell kneadable eraser and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share with you part of a tutorial that I've just done or I've done recently my wolf tutorial so you've actually got the live footage from one of the last sections of this particular tutorial so the scotch magic tape I use is you can get it from Amazon wherever it's scotch magic tape it's got a sticky side on one side and it's smooth on the other for fur like this, where I don't want to take a huge amount out, I'll actually take a little bit of the stickiness out before I lay it onto the surface. So I just rub it on the back of my hand. I then take a strip. I just pop it very lightly. I don't stick it onto the surface of the drawing. I just pop it lightly on. And then I just draw over the top of it to create highlights. You can see I'm, I'm bringing a little bit more texture through. Sometimes it works really fine. Sometimes um, you can put too much of a strong shape in there or a strong mark in there and that's where you have to go and just tickle it up a little bit more um, but generally if you've got a few layers of fur down um, it works really really nicely you can see here where it's just gone a little bit it's a little bit sharp so I just go back in with a dry brush um, and just sort of soften that back up again but um, I use this when I've got a good few layers of pencil down so I've got well, I'd probably say about um, four or five layers of pencil down here um, you know, I've been kind of working with the texture. I kind of got an idea and the feel of what the fur and everything looks like. And then I want to bring out a little bit more texture or a few little highlights. And the Scotch Magic Tape is absolutely perfect for this. You can use it for, well, for, for, for any kind of texture and highlight, really. It's a really, really lovely, lovely, lovely technique. It's also brilliant for getting rid of marks. You know, if you've got some pencil marks somewhere on your piece and you want to get rid of them, using the Scotch Magic Tape to get rid of the mark works incredibly well too. I then use it in conjunction with my kneadable eraser. So I use the Faber-Castell kneadable eraser, very gently just pulling out again, pulling out some little tiny highlights. I like to, I like to see it as putting in highlights rather than erasing colour. It's another form of subtraction technique. Um, the kneadable eraser is one of my most used tools. It's so, so, so handy. Uh, you know, it kind of blends things a little bit. It smooths things a little bit. It takes out the pigment, but it doesn't take it all out. Um, and it is such an incredibly useful tool. Um, so, yeah, this is the final part of my wolf tutorial. Uh, I used Polychromos, uh, Luminance, Pablos. Oh gosh, I used all of the pencils in this. <laughs> Some light fast. The little dry brush I used was incredibly useful just to get a little bit more softness. Um, and then um, and then here he is finished. So this is a full tutorial. It's all up on the Academy if you want to work on it. Goodness knows how many hours it took me, but it was absolutely wonderful uh, to create and lots and lots and lots of different kinds of fur um, in there which is you know just wonderful <laughs> 